Hi everyone. Uh, we're doing a video today on the benefits of reading. And this is something that personally I've done most of my life, but uh, it's only been recently that I actually started to, you know, reading a personal development book, something that you know I can learn from other people and just how to do, well, a little bit of everything. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. The f One of the basic things that I've got out of reading is that it kind of you know, it provides me a place that I can kind of, you know, escape to. Um, a lot of the books that I read growing up was all like sci-fi, kind of different, just different worlds entirely. That's has nothing to do with what's around me. You know, is that something similar that you've done? Yeah, I used to do a lot of reading, but it was more to escape the reality of, you know, the stresses of what was going on in my life. So, mm -hmm. you know, I could visit different places and be different people and you know get into it that way so yeah yeah and it's just kind of everything that was going on here just kind of goes away yeah I, I like it and it paints a picture the words they paint a picture and I could read the same book as you but I might see it differently because in my imagination it's different than yours so. mm -hmm. yeah um another thing is that you can always well, you can find somebody else's view of the world. I kind of have this like running theory that each of us only gets to see like a small segment of how of, of the universe, right? But when we start listening to other people, we get to see a little bit more. We get to see their takes, their perspectives and stuff like that. And I kind of always enjoyed seeing how other people not only like see characters or see settings or just world build like that's a you know just a completely different take on what we have going on here and then how it applies to real life because you can't have something so disconnected that nobody's able to relate with it so there's in some fashion relatability and i've always enjoyed that yeah and different perspectives like places like i said of that i've never been so they can paint the picture that i can envision you know for instance places that I want to be like Ireland if I read a book about Ireland or whatever it's like you know it just mm -hmm. different different perspectives and I can read two books about Ireland for instance and one I'll talk about how rainy it is and one I'll talk about how green it is <laughs> mm -hmm. so you know it's just because the books are painted through their perspectives mm -hmm. of how their experience went with it that so I can feel I get both perspectives by reading two different books mm -hmm. so then it's like i get the whole picture yeah so that's pretty cool yeah actually you brought something to mind that you know when i read a book the same book twice um the book itself hasn't changed but from the first time i read it to the second time i read it i have changed and even different perspectives that i get out of reading that book you know i get so much more out of it the second time just because I've grown and, you know, experienced more and be able to relate it more. I rarely read a book twice, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> yeah, I've done it probably a couple of times myself. There's a few on the shelf that, you know, have multiple, um, what are the dog ears, what they're called? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so also another, um, another benefit to reading is that your mind actually gets a little bit more faster and powerful as you, as, as you do it. Like one of the things that I noticed is that um, when I haven't read for a while, my speed of reading is a lot significantly slower. Uh, but then by the end of the book, I'm able to kind of get through things a lot faster. Like my brain is picking up information a lot more. And is that something that you find too? I consciously try and read slower just so I absorb what I'm reading, mm -hmm. especially with the personal development books with the regular mystery romance stuff it doesn't <laughs> seem to matter as much but <laughs> yeah i could see that but like you really want to have that time to absorb everything that they're talking about yeah yeah i want to not miss anything mm -hmm. yeah that's a good point too um and you know like a big thing about that information that you're pulling from it as well is that you can actually apply it to your life you know those experiences that you wouldn't have otherwise had or the perspectives or the just the knowledge or whatever it is there are things that you can bring to yourself or even to others as well 
like that's the benefit of this is that you can carry it forward and continue that that thought process is there have any example that you know off the top of your head um well the one i'm reading now is speed of trust mm. and i find it really really good in relationships mm -hmm. so i can apply it personally i can apply it in business and professionally and people at the office and that sort of thing so i i'm reading it but i'm applying it differently like i'm i don't know it's hard to explain but <laughs> i'm reading it but i'm thinking of if i did this with this person that would increase the trust there and that would increase you know better relationship better whatever and where if i do it in business just by tweaking the same information then i can see how it would you know be better with clients and for instance the example that they were just talking about is declaring your intention mm. so like for instance in business you could say my intention is not to sell you something but to set you up your family up if you're a car salesman Mm. in the vehicle of your dreams or you know i'm not a, trying to sell you something i'm trying to you know help well, you yeah so mm. that's pretty know, cool or if you know in your family you know my intention is not to nag you but i want <laughs> to be heard mm -hmm. you know so it's just kind of tweaking the same information to just different parts of your life right so interesting cool yeah, yeah. That's uh that's this topic here. Um, you know, uh hope you guys enjoyed this video and and thanks for watching.